Hey, y'all. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. How y'all doing? It's about 5 o'clock, y'all. I stopped and got me some wings from Dixie Queen. And you know they don't give you no vegetables. And I didn't have nothing in there because, you know, I've been out of town but some celery. So, that's what I went with. I got some shredded carrots, but there ain't no carrot sticks or nothing. I'm out of peppers, out of everything. So, I just got a couple of stalks of celery. And I got some honey hot and hot mixed. Blue cheese dressing. So what y'all doing this fine Saturday? Oh, I saw y'all got me some cold water for my drink. Mm -hmm. So what's going on? What's going on? Let me say my grace, y'all. Let me say my grace once I get this dressing here open. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day, Father. I thank you for the food which I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body. In Christ's name, amen. So how y'all been? What's been going on with y'all? Just tell me. Just tell me. Oh, this looks good. Oh. I got a ticket today, y'all. Not a speed ticket, right? I, um... Went up to the hospital to see my cousin. I'm going to tell y'all about that in a minute, too. Um, and... Handicap parking, disabled the parking is at the front. It's a long way to his room, right? It's only 15 minute parking for handicap, but you have to park in the garage, which is a long way. They don't make it convenient for you to go see nobody in the hospital. They don't even make it convenient for you to go to the hospital. So, I already knew I was going to be able to attend because once I find this room, it took me 15 minutes to get to the darn room on my cane, you know? And then I, uh, so I just stayed up there because I knew I was going to be over time. So I got a ticket for $21 for parking over time, you see. And then they say you can go to court, right? They'll probably dismiss it if I go to court. But ain't nobody got time to be going to court because you know what you got. That's the same problem. You got to park a country mile, right? A country mile from court. Then you got to stand in line for your, I can't be doing all that, so. Just too much. Anyway. So, yeah, y'all. So, my aunt called me when I got back from Dallas. Thursday. And she tells me, I need no because I needed no transplant. Your cousin to move up to number one on the transplant list. I'm like, what? What you talking about? What kind of transplant? A liver transplant. Okay. I guess. Of course, I didn't know nothing about liver transplants either. So, she said, say a prayer for them. They can call them any day now. Well, they called them that same day. At 3 p.m., he said, when I talked to him today. Yeah. He had two hours to get to the hospital. But they say the sooner the better. So, they finished that at 2 o'clock yesterday morning. Well, my system had been messed up since Dallas, so I had taken some. So, if I couldn't go yesterday. I went today. That's how I got a parking space. But so, after, before I went, you know, I read up on liver transplants once she told me. And stuff. Cause I hear kidneys and stuff like that. But I never heard of nobody getting a liver transplant. But apparently it's common. He said he has cirrhosis of the liver. But. And at some point he had liver cancer. But he had gotten chemo for that. So. This is my first cousin. He hadn't told anybody. Well I guess he told some people. But it wasn't me. And I consider us pretty close. But I guess, you know, he's going to probably be out of his business. So, But I was glad to see he was in good spirits because I know that's a part of your recovery. That, you know, you be in good spirits. So I ask y'all to just keep him on your prayer list that he has. a Like I said, he's in good spirits. He seems to be doing okay. He hadn't gotten up yet. Well. Yeah. He stopped drinking some years ago, you know, and then stopped smoking cigarettes and stuff. And he and I were talking today 
about my father who passed, you know, and he said, my cousin, 57, around the same age my dad was, and he said he had been thinking about my dad's name was Donnell. That, but my brother seemed to think my dad got sick dealing with, you know, stuff on the military, but we don't know for sure. Um, one of my cousin's friends was up at the hospital when I got there. And he was saying that, um, you know, you could be living and not be, you know, here like fully. And that was the one thing I did hate to see about my dad before he passed. My dad was still young. But I think he could understand us. But he wasn't able to verbalize anything. And he just seemed so, if there's look at him, he just didn't seem, he just seemed so down. You know, so it was hard for me to see him like that. Now that's one my one prayer. My prayer used to be, Lord, let me live to see my daughter get to be 18 because you always worry about how somebody else is going to treat your kids. And not that she would have been able, you know, at 18 to do a whole lot, but I just wanted to live to see her be an adult. Um, and I have to worry about somebody else raising her. And my prayer is now, I don't want to be a burden on my daughter. She's her own child. Lord, just pray to let me live and have my mental capacity to the day I die and help me be able to be able to be able to take care of myself to the end. You know. That's not, not saying I won't need some help, but you know, just those certain things that you want to have in your life. Mm. And I do want to live a long life, but it has to recognize that. I don't want to be able to, able to tend, from, tend to myself, too, while I'm living. But anyway, so I didn't know. Like I said, I read up on uh, organ donation and liver transplants after I found out. And it's just amazing how... People that sign up for organ donation. How they bless someone else to continue living. And it made me think that I didn't even know, like I said, that you could give a partial liver. And a liver is the part of the organ that will grow back to a full size. And even the part you give to another person the liver will grow to a normal size in them. Now, I don't know how long it take, but I would just read. And I think it said within two years. Now, I'm not 100% sure of that. So, y'all, if you, if not for religious reasons or something, think about signing up to be an organ donor. And I think you can do that on the back of your driver's license. If you... Haven't done so already. Yeah. So that's dead on that, y'all. Now, one thing I really realized about me, I'm pretty a pretty even keel type person. I think so anyway. But y'all, I know we all have down days. But you know what? I cannot stand. And I realize that it just it just drains my whole energy. Being around somebody who is negative and complaining about something every day, it just wears thin on you. I can't. Okay. Why would you want to get up every day and have something to complain about? You have to choose not to whine and complain. About 
every little thing. My brother and I were talking this morning, and he was just saying, he was beating himself up. I'm so proud of my brother, y'all. You know I love my brother, y'all. I tell y'all that all the time. But I'm proud of him. You know, my brother owns his house. All right and stuff. And he was like, well, had I known this, I would have did this. I would have bought a duplex. I would have did this. And I'm like, you're doing way better than I am. I don't even own my own house. And I make a good salary. And like I was telling him, I thought about that for myself even. I had to kind of take a step back. Yes, I'm ready to stop throwing money down the drain, giving it to somebody else. But I'm just thankful I got a roof over my head. I said, that's an accomplishment to be proud of. To own your own property outright. That's a blessing. And I had to think about the fact that I put myself through school and a lot of that. I helped my daughter get through school. And I'm like, you know, it's the reason why I don't have this, that, and the third. It's not like I was just goofing off my life, you know? So, um, we have the tendency. And that just made me think when he was talking, when I was telling him that this morning. I guess we all have stuff and we all kind of judge ourselves and grade ourselves. And it's not even comparing yourself to somebody else. It's just you thinking at a certain point in your life, you should be doing this, that, and the third. You know, so much better what you at. And then when I was talking to him, huh, I really have been beating myself up lately. And now, I had given myself the next November to get in the house. Well, I want to get something that I can pay for it pretty quickly. With that five years. And so, I was telling him that, and I was saying, you know, because that's one of the bills I don't want to have in retirement is, and I prayed about it, and I prayed my plan of what I have my life lands up to what God has planned for me and his will, you know, but... Y'all, I don't work since I was 16 and we were before the end, really, because I was babysitting and everything. I really want to retire when I get to be 62 now. I really do. And my preference would be, now I don't want to completely retire fully. I would like to go somewhere a couple of days a week and do something. But I'm like a couple of days a week enough. And you have to worry about <clears throat> medical insurance and this, that, and the third. So, you know, at a certain age. So, I see why a lot of people still work because it's probably more economical. For them to still work. And that's what my cousin was talking about. He was saying that. He, a lot of people don't have insurance that need transplants. From. Um, I think that's sad. You know. So. Yeah, the chicken good. I guess y'all said we could tell the way you chowing down on it, huh? But anyway. And luckily, I, don't know, I was on the phone when I left here and I was going to take my mama's stuff out to her house. But luckily, I called her anyway. She wasn't at home. My little sister took her somewhere. So, I said, well, she said she called me when she got home. But I know I'm not going back out today. It's no line. My suitcase still sitting in the middle of the floor. Well, half of it unpacked, half stuff still in. But 
my brother and I going to St. Louis next weekend. So I very well could leave that stuff in the suitcase. But I had more stuff for Dallas. I ain't gonna need that much for no weekend in St. Louis. Come on. We going Saturday. We only gonna be there really Sunday. Come back Monday. We going Saturday night, Sunday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And where we going, it's going to require a lot of walking. But my brother already on pay for the hotel stuff, so I probably would have canceled otherwise. But I don't think me and my brother really been nowhere this year together. He and my, um, he and my, um, uh, My daughter and I, we're also going somewhere in October to Atlanta. And I just thought about it. I go to Atlanta several times a year. I hadn't been to Atlanta this year. I had to think back. I went like three times last year. So, I thought it would be my first time going to Atlanta. And I'm going to sit down somewhere for a minute. Is what I'm gonna do. And get back on my savings jam. Mm -hmm. Do y'all know anything about buying notes? My brother was talking to me about that this morning when he got off work. I don't know anything about it. Of course, now, you know, every time he say something, here I go to research queen. Gotta look stuff up. Trying to find out about it. That did the trick, y'all, because I'm really full. It's just last wing. I had eaten on. I ain't kind of late. Because I was lazy. So I got up around 11.30 and fixed me a, a, a bacon and egg wrap. And ate that before I went up to the hospital. I had to take my medicine for one thing, too. So, yeah. I meant to get me a movie at the red box. But what's good in the red box, y'all? I don't know why I'm asking. I don't need me. Like y'all gonna ask for me today. I know darn well I ain't going back out to do anything. To go get no movie. Y'all. When I got back from Dallas, my next door neighbor was telling me somebody had broken to her place. When she asked me had anything ever happened back here, and I told her no. I never had an issue. But I started to get worried about that. And like I told her, if somebody come up and it's bad, you got to think about doing something to somebody. Put somebody put you in a position to have to hurt them. Or shoot them or try to kill them just because they think, you know, they come up in your house. And I was just saying, thank the Lord, you know, they didn't come while she was there. And she so she said she was going to get her gun. And she said she saw them on camera, so she said something that the police was on the way, but they had unplugged their TVs anyway. They got out. So I was just thinking, and I was telling my brother, you know, this is all material stuff. No, I don't want anybody breaking in my house. Lord knows I don't. But I'm not going to worry about it. If they come and take this material stuff and I don't have to do anything to them and a life, you know, can be spared or, or you know, because I figure if they come up in on you, either you're going to do something to them or they're going to do something to you. And a life can be spared from it, then, oh, well, it's just material stuff. Live to see another day. When you look at people going through all the devastation in the Bahamas and all of that, you're like, it ain't even worth it. I'm just going to turn it over to God. He didn't kept me covered all these years. And I'm not going to worry about it, but... 
People stay out of people's lives. People stay out of people's house. You don't pay rent. You know, I don't get it. I just don't get why people come up and then they're not going to get uh, nothing for the little stuff that they do steal. So it just makes no sense. Just a violation of people. But anyway, that's enough of my jaw jacking, y'all. But I ask y'all, please, just keep my cousins in your prayers. Keep him lifted up. I know he's going to do well. I know God is able. And I'm just going to stand in faith and believe he's going to do well and be strong with this new liver. And I'm thankful that he was able to receive one. And if you haven't think, thought about being an organ donor, do think about it. Anyway, y'all know I love you, but God truly loves you the most. Remember to always be kind to yourself and others. Be joyful and be blessed. And I'll see y'all tomorrow, hopefully for Sunday's dinner. Love you much. Bye.